Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far, I have been able to share my own experiences of living with Asperger's Syndrome. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for individuals on the spectrum, as well as um, their friends and their family members and their peers and their mentors educators, employers, professionals, clinicians, and anybody in the community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about. Now, before I dive into uh, tonight's topic, what I would like to do first is mention a few things. Number one, if you click up here in the upper right-hand corner, you're gonna find a TED Talk by a girl named Faith, whose last name I cannot, for the love of me, pronounce. And what she does is talk about uh, her own experiences of uh, having a brother or two brothers with autism and she looks at them in a positive light like they're different but not less and I really like what she has to say and I think you guys would too and a second thing is I hope you guys check out my written vlogs on wordpress.com which are a scholarly and practical application and you can find those under hello world 240.wordpress.com that's hello world 240.wordpress.com and what I would like to do now is provide tips and advice for those of you that are family members as well as friends and maybe peers and employers because I think it's critical. But first, I would like to start with a story. So in 2005, uh, the former boss I was talking about in one of my other videos um, that had the child with uh, severe autism was interested in the walk or one of those um, Cure Autism Now walks as they were getting going. And I happened to attend and I, because I wanted to see what in the world was going on and what this Autism Speaks had to offer. This was back before the days, of course, that ASON rose up and all of these other self-advocates started speaking out against them. And a few things I wanted to mention is that so I picked up a newsletter when I was there and I happened to um, stumble upon an article that a... Uh, sibling of a brother with mild ASD had uh, written and sadly she called him a burden because uh, he kept following her around uh, because he didn't have any friends of his own so he was always wanting to hang out with uh, her and her friends all the time because uh, they were about the same age and another thing that she talked about was very interesting and I wanted to uh, share that with you so it was in this article that she uh, said that he liked to sit in the front seat of the car and there was this one time where uh, his sister was sitting in the front with uh, their mother and uh, he found out about it and he ended up getting all bent out of shape because he normally sat in the front and she sat in the back and he ended up getting bent out of shape about it and called them all kinds of names and just got ugly with them. And what I wanted to do was provide some tips in the lieu of that. So for those of you that don't know, yes, autism comes with tantrums and fits and panic attacks because there simply is something in the brain that, uh, that makes us think that we have to do everything the same all the time. Otherwise, everything outside of that is a danger zone. And that's basically what happened with this young man where he thought it was uh, a danger zone for his sister to be sitting in the front and him to be sitting in the back. And I wanted to mention a few things for those of you that are struggling with, the, the, with tantrums and panic attacks and sudden changes that cause them to um, go off. Number one, uh, you should always uh, expose them to um, taking turns with their siblings or you should uh, allow them to take turns with their, uh, their co-workers or take turns with their friends because uh, that'll put them in the habit and that will teach them uh, the difference that people need to share. And that's something that Dr. Grandin always talks about uh, in her teachable moments is learning how to take turns. And I agree with that 100% because when I was little, I was always taught to take turns too. And so that probably would have uh, helped this young man's situation as if they took turns. And I think it'll help your situations as well. 
And a yeah, second thing I would like you guys to think about, and probably what this mother and the sister should have done, they should have pulled him to the side before he got in the car, and they should have said, okay, your sister would like to sit in the front. She hasn't done it in a long time. We feel that you get to sit in the front all the time. So would you mind sitting in the back this time? And you don't spring it on them you know, in front of their face. You explain beforehand, maybe the night before, or maybe two days before, rather than just springing it on them. Because chances are when you do that, that's going to cause the meltdowns and the panic attacks and the tantrums. Because people with autism need to learn boundaries and they lean, need to learn the word no. And they need to learn to take no for an answer. So anyway, I'm out of time. If you have any questions or comments, um, do not hesitate to write below. Please also be sure to subscribe to my channel and be sure to check out my other helpful videos as well as uh, finding me on Twitter, which is under summergirl43, or you can find me on Facebook as well as on Instagram. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off now.